All right, what is going on, everyone, and welcome back to another Black Desert patch notes reading. So today we got something special to show you, as well as let's review the patch notes because we have a couple of interesting things to talk about today. So yeah, patch day came out, got some cool new stuff. Well, I think we're all just waiting for next week when the Land of the Morning Light Part 2 uh, actually releases, and there's going to be some cool new stuff, whether you're a beginner all the way to a veteran endgame player and so let's talk about this so first of all we have the new morning light pre-quest which is basically this and let me see does it give anything um there's a new pre-quest maybe we'll just do a video of it just so we can show you what it is in case you uh want to see me do it and you just talk to the black spirit go to the morning light and we'll do that so, pre rex talk to or do the quest with a Moogie. I remember doing that one. I, this is still my worst boss, like, for the weekly, the Moogie fight. I don't know why, but that one just takes so long compared to, like, I don't know, the Sangoon one you could clear on C Calamity 7 in, like, what, three minutes or something? This one actually is, like, ten minutes, and you have to play perfectly. It's rough. Um, so we have a new collab right now, the Berserk one. This is actually the second time they're running it. And for all of you who missed the outfits and everything, um, the first time, you can buy them all again. I'll show you in-game as well what the outfits look like, so stick around for that one. And then there's a new event, the Old Moon Advanced Crash Courses are new now open. So this one is something I've seen before, and... I kind of want to show you what it's all about in game real quick. Okay, so let me let me show you. Okay, so there's this thing you're going to get in your Y tab. It's like a little mail icon. When you click it, it'll give you this quest. And basically what you do is just talk to them. And so I want to make sure you guys don't make the same mistake I did last time. We ran it like a year or two ago. So this is the crash course. And unless they change something as of last time, um, basically all of these give like 10, like whichever one you do, you do a little mini quest for it, right? And then at the end, the reward gives you like a thousand seal or like you kill or do whatever and you get 10 seals. If you do any sort of life skilling, you should probably pick the special advanced one because this one is a random one. So you could get one of the five and it gives you 12 seals so you should always be picking like the random one to get a slight like advantage of it like 12 instead of 10 but if you only do specific ones i think realistically like catching a horse is pretty easy honestly these are all very easy but if you want to just get the more like rng one do that and then there's the seals so let's Let's cover. What should you get first? Ideally, you should get everything, right? But let's see. A 150 stack is always going to be nice. 120 bail stack is always nice. Um, Shikatu box. What does this give? Cron stones, memory fragments. Yeah, you, you don't need to look at anything else. And then tier 9 horse materials. So... I guess this might be obvious, but in order, you should get the 150 stack, followed by the 120 stack. I would probably pick the Memfrags over these two, unless you don't have a tier 9 or tier 10 horse yet. And then followed by these boxes. Um, 60 stacks, always nice. And then, let's be honest, most people have a lot more loot scrolls than, you know, you actually know what to do with. And then everything else is pretty nice. So once you collect everything, I would probably just continue to collect 60 stacks, to be honest. Everything else can be obtained pretty easily. So 60 stacks are pretty nice. Um, so yeah, that was that one. Just make sure to get the RNG one. None of them are particularly difficult. I think the worst one would be defeat any monsters times a thousand, but that's just grinding. Like, it's not even bad. But one you could finish faster than the others. So, yeah, with that said, let's go back to the patch notes. Uh, new packages and bundles are available. It's actually, actually see that one. All right. So, 
For all of you who are thinking about trying out Black Desert, the game is on sale, 90% off at minimum, or most for the basic one. If you are thinking about playing BDO, now is probably a good time. To check it out. It's on sale. I think for a dollar just to try it out, it's a good deal. And then everything else. I have videos on like, hey, what's worth it? Like if you're going to spend money on this game, I have a Pearl Shop video guide and all the other stuff. So yeah, I think worst comes to worst, you get the dollar version. And then if you like the game, upgrade to the higher ones. And yeah, you can watch all my videos. I tell you the truth and what everything is all about, how the game runs and everything. So if you're interested, uh, feel free to check those out. All right, so back to all of this. All right, so class changes today. The patch brings some class skill changes, specifically removing down smash. We read this in the global labs about a week ago. So I talked about that and gave you my opinion. So we're just going to run through all of this real quickly. And basically all the classes, either they are removing down smashes and or smash abilities from class or skills that have a lot of them, like knockback down smash kind of combos. And they're putting them on less used skills. So basically you have to actually learn your class and then uh, do more of a combo instead of pressing one skill to do two things. Uh, it's going to be like one, two, three skills to do all three of the skills and so on. So basically, um, they're making it so it's more skill oriented, whether that means anything or not. We shall see. Admittedly, I don't actually know too much about the classes in here, but I do want to look at a few of them. I think the ones that are important to look at, uh, simply because these are like the ones that are like at the top and I want just want to see how they got changed a little bit. So acts of destruction, remove down smash, change to your character or rotate the camera direction before uh, casting a skill. So Zerkers, in my experience, they have this ability where you could just leap forward and then they have mouse movement that most classes, um, I mean, like you don't use as often. So have you ever seen some Zerker PVP and they just fly backwards and then they just like huge, like 180 turn? Yeah, that's mouse movement that like other classes cannot do. That's a lot of changes for Titan Step Awakening. Um... Normal attack to upward strike. I, I think upward strike means air attack. Upward strike. Wait. These are the same things. Okay. Cool. Moved air and down smash debuffs. Did this ability really have like all of that? Holy. Okay. Um... And then just removed a lot of the down smashes from all these. Interesting. I low key think Musa is kind of good. Like the movement is obviously near the top of every other class's movement abilities. Um, just remove nothing particularly changed for the better. It just got removed a lot of down smashes. So yeah, okay. How is the state of Mewa nowadays? I don't really hear too many people talking about it. I heard it got like nerfed to the point where everyone rerolled and then they kind of buffed it a little bit, but that buff didn't really do anything. And then Mewa is just in, you know, not at the bottom, but not at the top. That's my understanding of it. Strikers move, knock down, debuff from Savage Fang. Dude, Strikers have been known for, like, a lot of... I, I think Strikers are just still really good. No matter how they change it, they're just going to be good forever. I don't know. They just do a lot of damage. And even without all the CCs and stuff, all you do have to do is just do more damage. <laughs> I just... I don't know. I just think Strikers have always been at the top for a while. So... Do I think these are going to affect anything? Now you just have to press like three buttons instead of two, but now it's good. 
That's interesting. Uh, I don't know enough about Mystic to do anything, but they did get a damage buff. Wait, hold up. From 480 all the way to like 2000. Holy, that's a that's a huge change. That's a flow ability, though. Guardians. Mm, just removed a lot of stuff. Sages. Okay, so I, I had Sage tagged for about a year, uh, a few years ago. Ator's fist removed a down smash from that. Dude, this is such. This was such a good skill. And illusion detonation removed a down smash. That's like the triangle diamond beam thing, right? Yeah, I think that makes sense. Actually, these these are really powerful. Scholar, we've added the Abyssal Legacy skill for the Scholar class. Unlike the other class, this one doesn't replace existing one, but introduced a new flow. So Scholar is similar to Archer in the way they have, um, like, I think they don't have both Succession and Awakening, as far as I understand, but they have, like, a different set of skills that make them, you know, compete with the other classes, which I think is unique, and I, I like that. And basically, this is a summary. Content, War of the Roses. This has been... We talked about this last time, so I don't want to go into too much detail again. Uh, if you just want to watch the other video, cool. Basically, War of the Roses is coming back. And basically, what would happen before is... If two guilds, like two at the top, leading like Node War Siege guilds, if they didn't have two guilds to run it, that thing wouldn't even start so now if we don't have two guilds it'll just be like a third legion so basically there'll be war of the roses no matter what whether it's a fair fight or not that's a different story but basically they just want to have like something go on every week whether it is a fight or not so that's cool and then we talked about this last week as well some remastered items i think that's cool and a new Magnus well at the Achilles Eye, which I think is a very good thing, especially for all of you who are interested in getting into sailing. Um, you can leave your boat at Achilles Eye now. And yeah, it is a well. So start doing your dailies and leave your boat at Velve or Achilles Eye so you can go to Vel. Man, that's awesome. All right. So one thing before we actually do anything, I want to talk about this real quick. So we have an event or a collab event going on for the next two weeks. It's the Berserk anime. And I've never actually watched the anime, but I heard that it obviously it was very well known. And I heard it like discontinued simply because the author like passed away. And so like it just isn't going to finish. And um, I kind of wanted to show you this. So... Yeah, this is the second time it ran around, or like this is the second time the collab came around, and um, there's new outfits and everything. I'll show you that in game in a quick minute and show you the outfit for everything. So let's see, what do you do? In game, talk to the NPC, and then you get the, you just do the quest line for that, and then you fight the boss. I remember actually doing this, actually, and it's it's interesting you get a new title you get the alchemy stone and this is a blue colored normal title so yeah i think this one is a new one and then if you lose the letter receive it again adventure letter the boss a hex sanctuary and some rewards you can get and then there's uh stuff in the pearl shop okay so show you this in game uh where is it the this is from last year or not last year whenever they ran it Let's see uh i don't know either way they ran this years ago and this is like the alchemy stone that they use it's nice to have it's kind of one of those collectors things i just never had the use of it and so Collabs, where is it? Ooh, we should... What are these? 
A billion? I'm gonna have to open those. Alright, so there's a few new items on the Pearl Shop for this. The Berserk outfit for male, and then there's the female Griffith outfit. And then there's the fairy thing that we've all seen before. And you can actually buy it. I think this is cool. And then the jukebox for your house, which... I think that's awesome as well. This, this is the shy one. The female outfit. And then the male outfit. So, let me show you what the... Let me see. Uh, let me just pick a the warrior class, of course. So, I think the outfit, you have to get the sword. Doesn't even show you with that. Alright, well, I think this outfit's super cool. And then, obviously, if you like the anime, the manga, you should probably pick it up, because it's limited. I think it's very cool. It looks like the cape flows very well. You guys know how I feel about capes in games, when it feels, like, stiff and unnatural. Uh, I, I hope they made this normal. And... Pearl Abyss actually gave the partners uh, one of the outfits, so I chose one for the Griffith one, and I want to show you what it looks like, how it dies and everything. And um, yeah, let's see how it looks. We'll see this one together. All right, cool. He's on Dark Knight. The helmet and the armor. And then... See, how does the cape do? It looks okay. I don't really see too many problems with it. Alright. So, without the helmet. Looks like that. Overall, I think the... Obviously, I think the Guts outfit is going to be more popular. Just reasons. But I think if you are playing a female class and this is what it looks like for you. Um, I don't think it's bad at all. Looks Looks kind of cool, actually. But the important part is how well does it die? And can you even die limited outfits? So let's find out. I don't think you can, actually. Undiable outfit? Let's see. Yeah, I don't think you can. But anyway. I guess that makes sense because they don't you know, like, you're supposed to be the original. So overall, this is how it looks. The hair, the, like, the outfit for the hair, it kind of looks stiff, but I don't know what they can do about it. The outfit itself looks fantastic. And, yeah, that's about it. So, with that said, once again, the collab runs for about two weeks, and you should probably get these if you're interested. I obviously think this one is going to be more popular, especially for warriors who get the sword with it. That's awesome. And then if you just want the armor, you could get that. Or the special one with the sword. Female outfit with the helmet as well. Let me see. Does, do I have that? Uh, there's a different one for with the... That one, this one, I think this one is unique. For all the shies out there, this one wasn't in the last one because I don't think the last time they ran it. Um, I, I don't know. I don't remember seeing it, actually. But then there's a jukebox, which I think is new. I don't remember seeing that last time. And then this one has been around, too. So for all of you who like the fairy uh, skins, pretty unique. But with that said, before we wrap up this video, let's do it. We gotta buy it for the content. You could buy 10, so like, you could dunk 10 bill. Yo, hold up, let me buy one. You could buy 100 of these? Holy, that's a lot. You could just like, All right, you know what? Let's just dunk a bill and see what happens. This is actually lighting silver on fire. I didn't know you could spend that much silver on it. I thought it was just gonna be like, oh, just buy one bundle. All right, cool. So what can you get? Tronstone's memory fragments. Very cool. Let's open them. Tronstones. More Tronstones. Loyalties. Got a tier 8. Memfrags. Memfrags. 
I don't know what that is. Got another refund box. All right, so in one bill, we got Cronstones. Sturdy Forest Tread. I think this makes uh, the 40 mil Whale Tendy potions. Uh, Memphrags, a tier 8 horse that has zero value to me. And we got a 50 stack. Very cool. Um, let me actually see. Sturdy. Okay, yeah, so if you actually do use these 40 mil elixirs, you use these to combine it, but since these just sit on the market, I don't think these are super worth. Um, yeah, interesting. But anyway... That's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the patch notes reading. Um, have fun with the outfit if you're thinking about picking it up. I think it's a cool one. Like, it, BDO doesn't do too many collabs, and when they do, they're usually pretty unique and something you wouldn't really think of with, you know, your average video game collab. Like, remember when they did Bugatti? That was an interesting one. I literally don't see how that's connected at all. But, um, yeah. I think Berserk would act actually does kind of fit into the game in a few ways. And the outfits, they aren't that bad. So, with that said, just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And we'll be back soon with more cool videos. And I got some guides coming up in the near future. So, see you guys later. Peace!